If you're new to programming, you've probably come across a lot of resources that are talking about whether you should learn Python or JavaScript as your first language as a beginner. Both are great if you want to make side projects and even if you want to make a career switch and become a developer, but it's sometimes hard to pick which one you should actually start with. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. In this video, I'm going to break that down for you and give you the final answer of Python or JavaScript. Before we get into it, I think it's important to understand why you actually want to get into programming. And as a beginner, this is the most annoying step because what you really want to do is you want to make the cool stuff that you're seeing online on Reddit or Twitter, and you want to be a part of that community. So going back and thinking about why I want to learn how to code is a super annoying step, but I think it's a really important step. You really want to figure out if you're someone that wants to make things like blogs or recipe sites or landing pages or web apps, or if you want to do things like make a word processor or make a bot of some kind or incorporate AI into your code. Answering those fundamental questions is really going to help figure out why you want to code and therefore influence the language that you should actually start with as you begin your coding journey. And again, these are just a few examples of the things that you can do with code, which is why I think it's really important for you to actually have this conversation with yourself and go through this exercise of figuring out why you want to code so that you can get an understanding of the things you want to make and then you can make a decision of what language to actually learn. Also a big thing, this is just the start of your coding journey. A lot of people put a lot of time and energy, me included into figuring out what language should I learn because it feels like that's like the most important decision that you can have when you're learning how to code. However, it's important to remember that as you continue on in your coding journey, you're gonna pick up lots of different languages to add to your toolkit and that's exactly what they are. They're tools to help you build something larger. So the first language that you learn is just one tool in that entire toolkit and that's why it's important just to pick something eventually and not get stuck in the paralysis of analysis and actually start building stuff. That's what's actually gonna make you a good developer is build things. All right, that's enough fluff and enough philosophical talk. Let's actually talk about Python versus JavaScript. So we'll start with JavaScript. And JavaScript is the language of building websites and web apps. That's how I see it. A lot of the websites that you interact with on a daily basis are using JavaScript or a framework that incorporates JavaScript in them. If you were someone that fell into the category of wanting to build websites or web apps or blogs or landing pages or recipe sites or whatever, basically an app that a user can interact with, then JavaScript is probably the language that you want to start with. The good things about JavaScript are that it's a foundation language and it has a huge following online, the job market is also huge. So you're going to find a lot of resources and a lot of help in your journey to learn JavaScript because you're not the only person doing it. There's a wide spectrum of people in the community, everybody from beginners to experts, and there's lots of resources if you ever get stuck. On top of this, there's actually a lot of frameworks that have been built on top of JavaScript to make it easier to use. A framework is essentially something that sits on top of the foundational level of code and makes it easier for you to actually code with that language. So the biggest JavaScript framework is probably React. And what React helps you do is it kind of packages in all the components that you need to make a web app into a nice framework so that when you're creating something, it doesn't take you forever. A lot of the things that people have to do in web apps are already built into React. And so you can kind of use that as a starting template and build on top of it from there. And on top of this, JavaScript can actually be used to make what's called full stack applications. This includes making a front end and a back end. So kind of tying what the user sees to all of the data that's in behind a website to make a full fledged web app. And that's really powerful because you can use one language to make an entire web app that you can then deploy to your users. If that's a little overwhelming, that's okay. And it goes way over your head. No worries. I'm going to link a video down below that talks about front end versus back end so that you kind of have an understanding of the things you can do with JavaScript. But the way I would think about it is if you want to make a website where someone goes in and logs in and has an experience with your app and then also has a bunch of data stored on the back end where you know, you're calling that data and showing it to the user, for example, Facebook, then you could think of a language like JavaScript because you could build that entire project front end and back end in that one language, which is really, really helpful. If you're interested in learning JavaScript, there's a lot of resources out there for you. But the one that I recommend for everyone is something called the Odin project. I made a full video that I'll link here with my review. It's something that I'm going through right now and I've been really enjoying it. I think it does a really, really thorough job of actually teaching you all of the fundamental components of JavaScript and how to incorporate it on an app that you want to build. And so if you're looking to get started, I would highly recommend the Odin project. I'm also going to make another video that's going to link to a lot of the best resources and tutorials for learning JavaScript. So if that's not already made, it will be made and it'll be linked here as well. So if that's something that you're into, definitely check that out and hopefully it'll help you. So what if you're not into web apps or building things for users to interact with? What if you're
you're more interested in backend development or working with the data that sits behind a website and building APIs that people can interact with? Or what if you want to work in data science and draw insight from the large amounts of data that you find online? Or if you want to make a bot of some kind? Or even if you want to get into AI or machine learning? Well, if you sit in any of those categories, chances are that Python is probably the best language for you. So Python's a great language because it does all of those things, but it also gives you the opportunity to build web apps just like JavaScript does. And there are also frameworks in Python, things like Flask or Django that help kind of package those things together. So even if you want to make web apps, you can. It's just not as well known in the community as JavaScript at times. And I think JavaScript in this day and age is taking the front seat on the web app development side of things. But if those other things that I mentioned, such as building bots, or working with a, uh, machine learning or AI or even working in data science, if those are things that stand out to you, then Python is probably a good language to add to your toolkit because it can do all of those things plus the web apps. On top of this, just like JavaScript, there are a ton of resources out there for Python. There's a really, really strong community with people from beginners to intermediates to advanced, and you can get all of those resources readily available to you when you're trying to learn this language. The one thing that I really like about Python is that it's really easy to read and really easy to pick up. Even if you're someone that doesn't know how to code at all, I bet if you looked at a Python file just by looking at the code, because it resembles just plain English, you can actually probably figure out some of what that program is trying to do because it reads so easily. Because of that, Python is a very generalizable language and applicable to a lot of developers. And even if you don't pick it up as your first language, I guarantee you'll probably come across it in some aspect during your programming journey. And the good thing about learning Python is that actually you can use it for backend development if you've already learned JavaScript for front-end development. So let's say you learn JavaScript initially, you're able to build web apps and just landing pages and more front-end based sites and then you want to add more data or create APIs and you know Python as well. You can bring those things together to create that full stack application. So not only can you use JavaScript to make a full stack application, if you have the resources of Python, you can also use that to power your backend of whatever web app you decide to build. So because of that, Python is really, really powerful because it can be used for so many different things. So if you're someone that is a little bit interested in more generalizable programming, I would say, and you kind of want to get your hands into a lot of different buckets, then starting with Python might be the best choice for you. If you're interested in learning more about Python and some of the best resources to learn the language. I'm gonna link a video here that I've made that's gonna talk a little bit about all the resources that I found to learn Python. Personally, I'm focusing on it more from a data science perspective because I'm using JavaScript to learn more web app based things. So that's gonna be a lot of the resources that I present in this video. But even if you're trying to just start out and get a basis and a foundation of what to use Python for and how to learn it, I'm gonna have some great resources in this video. So definitely check it out. So that brings us to the question, which is the best programming language between Python and JavaScript? And I know that you probably got to this point of the video and you're thinking, man, I'm still a little bit confused. I still don't know. And I really wish that this person would just give me a clear answer. And as much as I want to give you a clear answer, I think the real answer is it depends. And the reason it depends is like I said at the beginning, it really depends on why you want to get into programming and what are the types of things that you want to build. If you want to build more web apps and websites and things like user interfaces where people can come in and interact with your app, then JavaScript is probably the best starting point in your coding journey. However, if you're interested in more database things like like data science or building bots or getting into machine learning or AI, then I would probably start with Python. I think the most important thing to remember is that both of these languages are great. They have lots of resources available. There's a huge community that supports both of them. And to be honest, at some point as you progress through your coding journey, you're probably gonna benefit by learning both of them. So I wouldn't put too much stress into figuring out what it is that you should start with just now. I would say pick one thing, let's say just pick that you wanna make a web app and start with JavaScript and learn that. Because eventually you're gonna find holes in your knowledge and you're gonna to wanna to fill them. And sometimes the thing that you're gonna fill them with is another language like Python. So don't stress out too much about it. Find the one thing that is right in your mind right now that you're interested in building and pick a language to build that one thing. And I'm sure you will do great. Hopefully this was a helpful video. If you wanna see more helpful videos on programming tutorials, you can check out this video right here. That's gonna go through a lot more resources for you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.